Hey, welcome. We're going to be finishing the last page of the packet, and you should, by the end of today, please have the whole packet finished. So go back and see if you've skipped any problems that you can finish. So we are dividing by nine today. And nine is always a fun number. This is why you should really know your multiplication quick facts, because when you divide by nine, it's nice to know your quick facts because then you just know, oh yeah, 36 divided by nine, well, nine times what is 36? Nine times four is 36. So if you know all of your quick facts, division just is so much easier too. And we're gonna go into fractions soon. It makes fractions so much easier. In fact, fractions are impossible if you don't uh, at least like have this next to you all the time or just know your quick facts. So just please keep practicing your multiplication quick facts too. Okay, so we're doing the nines. So I'll just do a problem uh, just so you can see, even though probably, hopefully by now you don't need too much help, but I'll choose one. I'll do one with the remainder. I'm gonna do this one. 253 divided by nine. 253 divided by nine, or as we know, it can look like this. Same thing. Okay, so, you have 253 pancakes. You got nine people at your party. How many pancakes does each person get? Well, let's figure it out. Okay, so we have, first you have to divide up the hundreds, then the tens, then the ones, just like always. So, nine times what equals two, or how many nines fit into two? Well, zero, can't do it. So, now we multiply, zero times nine is zero. We multiply to see how many we gave out. So we haven't given out any pancakes yet. Subtract to see how many we have left. We still have all 200 of them. Now we bring down the tens, turn those hundreds into tens, and we have 25 tens. Well, now we can divide up some of those pancakes. So we have 25 groups of 10 pancakes. So how many times is nine? Going to 25, or nine times what is 25? Well, that's where it's good to know your quick facts. Because you know nine times one is nine, nine times two is 18, nine times three is 27. Two, oh, that's too high. We only have 25 groups, we don't have 27. We can't give out 27 groups of pancakes, we only have 25. So the closest we can get is only 18. So nine times two is 18. So each nine, each one of these nine people are gonna get two, groups of 10 pancakes. It'd be like, if you're thinking of money, it'd be like two $10 bills. And now we multiply to see how many we gave out. Two times nine is 18. Subtract to see how many we have left. 25 minus 18 is seven. Or if you need to, you can say, I need that to turn into a 15. And that turns into a one. Same thing. And now, we have seven left, but we're gonna bring down the ones. So those seven groups of 10 get split up into 70, and we already had three ones, so it's 73 ones. Now we can give out the 73, 73 ones. So nine times what equals 73? Well, how many nines fit into 73? Anybody know offhand? Let's see, let's find a number that's pretty close. Well, 72 is very close. Nine times eight is 72. We're not gonna get closer than that. So eight. Eight times nine, multiply back to see how many we gave out. Well, we gave out 72. Subtract to see how many have left. One. So that's the remainder because we already gave out the ones. We've got one left over. So if you had 253 pancakes, you had nine people come over, each person would get 28 pancakes. And you'd have one left over that maybe you could eat if you're hungry. All right, you guys, please finish that packet.